All right, so where what is this throwing at us here? I don't... Oh, it's a rest floor. That makes sense. I was going to say, there are no bosses that you can really throw in here except for a... Oh, yes. 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 Oh. You know what? Let's do this. Let's do this my way. You know what? No. No, I don't want to do that. Let's let's do this their way. The game's way. Come here. I get two bold men. That is that is a way. That is a way to end off a cave. I have two bold men to my name. Look at them. They're so cute and goggly-eyed and they make such cute noises. Go away, purple Pikmin. Just, I, I love the noises they make. I know that they're just synthesized and heavily edited versions of Pikmin sounds and, and Bulborb noises, but they're so cute. Also, I love that they are green. They are, or their, their aura is green, so they're technically the green Pikmin. Uh, if someone tries to tell you, oh man, green Pikmin could be a thing, tell them they kind of already are. Now, what am I going to convert them into? Because I, I do want to leave this cave with... No, not this. Uh, this is a doodle bug. Uh, one of the, one of the snitch bug series. One of the only snitch bugs, or the only snitch bug that can harm Pikmin. It makes clouds of, of doodle. <laughs> that can make Pikmin poisoned. It's, it's an interesting enemy, but I, and really, oh, that, oh no, I, I uh, didn't do the glitch right, snap. I accidentally slid into it. Oh, that's sad, I was hoping to leave here with eight, eight of these. Unfortunately, I'm leaving, leaving here with six. Come on, Olimar. There we go. That's sad, but I, I, I still have a net gain of sprays. All right, let's make sure that there are no honey wisps in here because they will, or there's a high, uh, there's a high chance they will drop a spray. Just need to scout out. Okay, there's nothing over here, Olimar. You scout out the rest, and also throw a bullman in there. What do we need? Reds. We need reds. Oh, I got yellows. Okay, that's fine. All right, so I don't think there are any honey wisps here. Now what I can do is I do need a red. I, I would love to have the Bulbman with me. Should I have the Bulbman with me? I don't want to have the Bulbman with me, honestly. Let's, because he's nice, but I won't be able to take him with me. So it was nice to see the Bulbman, but otherwise they're just a way to be converted into something that can actually leave the cave. So we'll take we'll take the Bulbman with us in spirit as a converted type of Pikmin. And honestly, that's probably what they want. Because they're a parasitic form of Pikmin, essentially trapped inside of a Bulborb because they're unable to control the Bulborb's appetite, according to the Piclopedia. So they're controlling them to a point. It's it's kind of a, a weird battle going on. It's like a Majora's Mask Fierce Deity thing, where the Fierce Deity ends up corrupting Link. It's one of those weird Weird things. I don't even know what you'd call those. Okay, what's in here? Bull bears? <gasps> bull bears! We finally get to see the bull bear! Why did you wake up a bull bear? I didn't even know you could do that. So this is bull bear galore. Can he try and kill me through this? He can't. So bull bears are the nastiest, by far, the nastiest form of bull borb. They wander around and attack you. Um, but the thing is, if they come across any dwarf bull bears with them, also I love the name bull bear. If they come across any dwarf bull bears with them, the dwarf bull bears will follow them. But they're nasty. They're like the uh, the fiery bull blacks times two or three, uh, or the or orange bull borb times six or seven, because they ne they never fall asleep. In Pikmin one, they would fall asleep, and they had red eyes, and they were scary. They were so scary. And in this game, they are equally as scary. Although they are slightly smaller than they were. But it's sad. I, I'm i not encountering this bull bear. 
above ground. Because if I was, it was going it would be in the perplexing pool, which means that I have a I could set a trap for them because there's a built-in trap with there. But as but as it stands, I'm unable to do that. So, I'm going to have to try to use some strategy here. I don't want to take out that gate over there. I want to take out this one because it's further away. I can see him coming. Now, can or she? I I always called there are a lot of enemies I called she. I don't know why. Oh boy. Whistle, get him away. There we go. In fact, we can set a trap here. No! Really? Really? Can you hurt me through this? You can't hurt me. All right. Will you try to avoid? No. All right, so there's our trap. It's a little bit cheap, but it's it's there. It's something we can abuse. Normally, I don't like abusing these things in a let's play, but I, I am. I, I like abusing things in Pikmin because I've played the series for so long that I, I know the ins and outs of how it works. All right, so I, I said we were going to we weren't going to take down this gate, but we are because now the bull bear is distracted because it can get things through walls for random reasons. They really should have fixed that. They should have made some sort of line of sight calculation for it, and I know they could have too because. That, that goes as far back as I know as, like, the Metal Gear games and and lag. But it goes back as far as the Metal Gear games and for Nintendo first party. I believe it goes as far back as Majora's Mask that I can think of off the top of my head. They had line of sight in that. I mean, to be fair, they also have line of sight in this game, kind of. But it's it's a weirder form of line of sight. But they, they should have done that. They should have made it so they can't see through walls. Unless they were, like, actual walls you could see over. Alright, so, here's how we're going to tackle this. I don't want whites, because they kind of gum up things. They don't deal any less physical damage than other kinds of Pikmin, but I always feel back, bad throwing a white when I know I can be throwing a red. Or a purple. So we'll do this, stun the rest of the group. If need be, we'll use a spray. We always have that backup plan. I'll try to take out the dwarf. Where's the other dwarf? There were two dwarf bull, bull bears. Right? I'm not crazy. There were two. I guess there aren't. Oh, no, he's right in front. There we go. And he's dead, or she's dead. It's fairly easy, but uh, imagine an upfront conflict with her. And she is the other enemy in the game that will fall asleep, or can come back to life. I'm feeling really brave. Should I do this? Should I do this? I'm, you know, I'm feeling really, really brave. There we go. <laughs> These things are so overpowered. Why do they exist? Why? These are the questions we have to ask ourselves. All right, do we need to take him out? Yes, he has a treasure within him. So we'll take him out with... Actually, no. No, no, no. You guys can carry that back. You carry that back. I will wait here. There we go. Then we can take these guys out in style. There's nothing here. Is there anything in this alcove? No. Probably some traps if I pick them with on me. There's something in there in him. Nothing in them. There may not be anything in that orange bull borb. I don't think there is. So we'll take them. We definitely need reds. Also, this cave is dragging on forever. I have no clue how many episodes this is, but it's certainly dragging on. Alright. So we need... We need reds. How many do I have? I have that many. Holds up hand. I need to get behind him. So let's take out the orange bull burb first. Because that'll definitely com complicate things. And... Cool. Kill, kill him. Neat. He did not have anything in him. Well, at least we know, and at least he's gone. So now all we need are... Reds? It... I'll probably have to use a spray here. In fact, I'll be safe and use an ultra spicy spray 
Or bitter. You know, I'll use a bitter because we have so many of them. Ready, set. Oh, wait, he doesn't... I forgot. He doesn't come up when we approach. All right, so throw Pikmin on him. Maybe I'll be able to kill him when we go. Nope. Definitely not. Kill him! And dead. And he has a, a bottle opener? Which was doing some weird jiggly things. I was kind of hoping that it would keep doing that. Sometimes items will do that. They'll pull a a Fallout or a, uh, a Skyrim where they'll just start jiggling in place because they're unable to settle. And it's it's funny. There's some weird phys physics things that this game can do. Which will always give you a barrel of laughs. Alright, so let's kill just the Bulborbs in the immediate vicinity. And get them on this. Oh, there we go. Yeah, uh, that's one of the things that the dwarf bull bears can do is if they're nearby you, you can tell if, you can tell that they know you're there because they'll start sniffing more quickly, which is weird. But it's it's one of the things that makes the bull bear subspecies unique. Dimensional slicer, and that's it. All right, on to maybe the last floor. I'm not sure. I don't even know what the boss is here. I have no inkling about what the boss could be. Well, I guess I won't find out now, because this ain't the boss floor. How long is this this cave? And what is what do we have to face here? I feel like... Oh, okay, there's an Emperor Bull Blacks. Then that's... There are two. There are two Emperor Bull Blacks. Okay. Well, we're scouting out the cave first, of all, first and foremost, because this is one of the ones that traps are normally found in. And we're also taking out the poison, just in case. You never know if a bull bear might fall from the ceiling. Anything? Nothing here. What do I hear? Also, there's no music, which is odd. It, is that normal for all of the bull blacks floors? Is there no music? Yeah, I don't think there's music in any of the bull blacks floors. Nothing here. All right. So let's go get our, our death squad. So purples and reds. Make sure there are no other colors. There are not any. So you are the first. In fact, let's summon you as a distraction. There we go. You're a lot smaller than others I've faced. Oh, he almost, he almost killed my Pikmin. Get them out, get them out. Notice what I said earlier about, like a lot earlier, about the Ultra Bitter Spray giving enemies a defense boost. Oh, how many did I lose? Two, okay. That's manageable. And it's dead. Whew. Woo. Now, actually, I, I forgot about that. It's death animation reminded me. Uh, they're, they have an attack that we have not seen yet. Oh, really? Mittites? Mittites. That's that's what you're you're doing. There it is. Oh, no, that's not it. Okay. So, they have an attack where they will scream or roar, I guess. And uh, what it's it does is it scatters the Pikmin, sort of like Mittites do. Uh, but I think it it's not global, is it? It may be global. Just throw a couple. I feel like throwing a lot is a bad move. Oh, that's bad. Oh, you barely avoided that. There it is. He started it. He started it, but... There we go. Really? That's... <laughs> that's kind of dirty. And kind of... Kind of despicable, honestly. There we go. Alright, so that's that's it for this floor. What other challenges are going to be thrown at us? I love this cave a lot. It feels... It feels interesting. Intriguing. When I say intriguing a lot. It's exciting. Because you have no clue what's going to be faced next. We've faced so many bosses. Just today. Just in this video. Uh, and I mean, in the cave in general. I have no, many, I have no clue how many episodes I'm, I'm segregating this episode into. Treasured gyro block, part of the uh, 
the Rob thing. I don't even know what you call that. Alright. What are we going to face next? Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. And done. Maybe this is the last four, maybe not. Maybe it's not. But we'll find out together. Hole of Heroes, sub-level 11, oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no, I know it's here. I know it's here, I don't wanna see it. I don't wanna see it, no, no, no. Oh no. So, the Empress Bulblax has an attack that we've never seen before, until now. And honestly, I didn't think we would be seeing it. Uh, it spawns these guys, which I don't even know what they're called. A Bulborb Larva, I think it's what the official name is. They die in one hit, but they are the embodiment of Pikmin 1. In, uh, in a nutshell, if they, they nab onto a Pikmin, they're guaranteed to kill it. So the best way to kill them is with captain attacks. But the thing is, they they're spawn so quickly, which means I'm going to have to bring all of my Pikmin up to the front. I'll leave a captain here, I think, maybe. Here, I'll, I'll stagger this. I'll get it ready, switch to Olimar. Punch it. Bring him up. Olimar. Punch it. Ow, it hit me. There we go. So this is... We're going to be seeing this later in a cave that I've reserved for later. Hoping... I thought... I was under the mistaken impression that that was the only time she would start spawning bulb orbs. Uh but I was mistaken. Run, 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 That. Tom's dead. Nope, never run. Not dead. All right, all right, all right, all right. Attack this. Thankfully, she's fairly docile. No, don't come to me. She's fairly docile. She won't start rolling unless you attack her. So I'm gonna separate this out into two groups. Ow! Or maybe not, actually. So I'm not sure if, if he will do auto dodge. Okay, well. Well, we need to get this party started. Come on. Really? Really? There we go. So, one of the, the things that she will do, she'll actually help us here? I've been silent for a load of it! Uh, she will crush her own her own children. So, uh, so let your nightmares flow about your mother doing that to you. Let's zoom out and get a sense of scale here. I'm not making the same mistake I made in the original fight. I'm not sure if I lost Pikmin here. No, I did not. Thankfully, the boulders won't crash down on our group next to the cave. Whoa! And she's... I don't want to say she's easy, but she kind of is. She, she really is. Alright. So thankfully she will crush all of her babies! So they can never approach us. But if they are able to approach us, they're really annoying. It's... It, this is a, a boss battle where rhythm is an important part of it. I have to attack her until she returns to her normal position, at which case, as soon as she starts moving back there, I can whistle Pikmin back, which prevents them from being knocked off. This is something that I had forgotten in our original battle. And then she'll do her roll, and then I can rinse and repeat. See, there it is. I can whistle her, whistle my Pikmin back before she starts rolling. And then all of her babies are wiped clean. The slate has been reset has been cleaned and then we can rinse repeat and I'm not going to be greedy either I'm, I'm going to play this right because there's really no reason why I should lose any Pikmin to her and I have I I don't think I have no I don't think I have I've taken some damage to her her children but that's it 
And she's dead, which means I'm going to have to take out her child. Her one child. There we go. All right. That was a battle. But I, I did it well. I just didn't want to see her. She really wasn't that bad, but it's it's an annoyance. And dealing with enemies that are basically Pikmin 1 male sheer grubs. I mean, they really are, except they die in one hit, which is the one upside. But they're still, they're Pikmin 1 male sheer grubs. And I didn't want to deal with that. All right. That's not the last floor either. This is just a cave of battles, it, which I like because I like battles, but it's still a cave of battles. Favorite gyro block. I should hope that's the last treasure. All right, let's fl flower what Pikmin we haven't and head down to one of the final floors. Whoa. Is this... This is the one of the first caves we ever went into. This is the, the layout. And it's a... A respite floor. Whoa! Hello. You startled me there, buddy. Taking purples. Purples, purples, purples. They are the best purples. Unless they're not. Then they're not the best... And you drop a lot of poison. And a lot of sprays. And you're done. Goodbye. <laughs> that was the Doodlebug song. Which did not rhyme. It's a terrible song, actually. It's only to be sung at funerals and weddings. Both. Alright, so let's. This is kind of difficult because they're right on top of each other. So push him into that. And then slide into one, but not the other. Alright, there's one. Up to seven, and this one will put us up to nine. Oh, come on. Push him into it. And we're up to nine. And I can only assume there's going to be another doodlebug, so I'm going to prep the cave not for traps, but for doodlebugs. That's where the, the buried treasure and a glint beetle. No! Oh, that was close. That was close. Oh, man. Thankfully, the purples have homing attacks. Otherwise, both of them probably would have gone over the edge. Alright. Doodlebug? Doodlebug? No doodlebug. Why is there no... Doodlebug is really fun to say. Wow. In fact, you guys say it right now. Literally say it. Because doodlebug is fun. Alright, no more doodlebugs. So, I guess I'll get doodle bugging out of here all right who do we need though we need mm, reds I guess so we'll convert blues into reds yellows into reds all right so yellows are going to be turned into reds neat and then we can instantly flower them and then move on and help this be carried oh my word that's slow All right, so we're up to, I think, 20... What are we up to? 19, I guess, I guess, maybe, possibly. I think we're up to 22 yellows and then uh, 20 reds. And we have another gyro block, which is definitely a theme of the whole of Heroes. Because Rob is everyone's hero. The lost gyro block. And we're down to... The final floor? A <laughs> question mark? Hopeful question mark? Because that thing is exposed for a reason. Charge up our weapon. Cool. Big damage. Alright, let's shoot him in the eye again. Nope. Oh, ow. I'm not Level able 15. to. 15. Hold beasts. Is it the last? Oh, this better be the. This is the last floor. Please. Certainly it is. Just, it's time to stop. No more. Where are your parents?